Hey guys, on today's update, I'm gonna show you how to update your iTunes to 12.1.2. Um, the major change that you will see physically uh, will be the layout. It's gonna be a lot bigger. It's kind of like the new Photos app that Apple just got out, which looks like this. Um, as you saw it, it's a lot simpler kind of looking. Um, in my case, I don't like it. I don't like iTunes either. Uh, they made everything bigger, so it looks more like something for your iPad or iPhone, but not really for computer. For computer, they should have kept the same look, um, just everything smaller because you have a bigger screen so you can see better. Um, you don't really need to make everything huge. But anyways, to do the update, all you have to do is, you can go up here, for example, and type in App Store. And then you, you get your App Store and then just open it up. Uh, the second way to go into App Store, you can just go to your app here, which is the sim most simple way, which is your third option. You just click on App Store. Uh, once you're in your App Store, you will click on the last option where it says Updates. Just let it load. If it doesn't give you the update right away, just let it load um, after five minutes maximum if you have really 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 slow internet you will see this um, after that you just click update make sure not to have your iTunes open so make sure this is closed so you don't have that little dot underneath it okay to close it you can just right click and then just click close or quit um, that's if it's open so you do need to do that this update is pretty fast it's not a huge update they did fix some stuff that was going on with syncing issues uh, between iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, but it's nothing major. It's mostly the look, what they've done. So you will see that. Um, once again, you have to keep these things up to date, even if you don't like the look of it, which I don't. You do need to keep them up to date so they work and um, they work perfectly syncing your devices together okay so you will need to do it although you might not like the result of it okay uh, once again before doing any major updates you should always back up your computer with time machine um, for for the, in this case for example iTunes is not a big deal unless you have a humongous library that you want to uh, um, make sure that nothing gets screwed up with it I would back up so just use Time Machine I highly recommend it um, once again you can use any external hard drive to use Time Machine so you don't buy something from Apple that's really expensive just in case I do have separate videos showing you how to set up all that stuff and anyways once this is done your computer will not need to restart or anything like that that was for the other updates that came before but for this one's pretty simple pretty easy pretty fast as you can see anyways uh, that's it for this video if you guys have any questions comments you can leave them here below and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you